Salutations Wastelanders, Wanderer here, welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. We're over at the BAD TFL, having started a new playthrough a couple episodes ago. So I've got some steel and some adhesive, I'm going to walk across the street and use the chem station over there. Make some uh, caltrips, and that will hopefully level me up. Well, I mean it really should, I have like just a sliver of uh, experience needed to get my next level. And then we'll come back over here and uh, get that. With our newly acquired lockpicking perk, we're going to go back over there then and uh, get that safe open in BIDTFL and then bring stuff back and uh, yeah, it'll be good. All right, so let me see here. Traps, cow trips. Those are not terrible value per weight. Um, they're not... I mean, I could just spam them. You know, early game, it'd be really overpowered, just like spam cow or something else that you could make and uh, get a whole bunch of experience from having a settlement. But, uh, you know, they don't do too much damage. Um, the range of 95 is interesting. That's uh, not really a real range, but okay. Anyway, that's all I want to do over here. Just going to do that. Go back into BADTFL, get the safe, and then get the hell out. Um, there's... I have to make some carry weight, so I'll probably drop these caltrops. I doubt we'll take them to sell them or anything. They're not terrible for selling. Like, you could just spam them and sell them. Especially with a high charisma and stuff, you could sell them for quite a bit. I'm not sure what the ratio is, though, or if it's, if it's very worth it or not. But in terms of, like, how much adhesive is worth... Oh, right, I need to actually assign the point. Duh. I knew that. I knew that. Okay. Nice. Ooh, a wedding ring. Really? I mean, I guess it's in the game files. You might as well use it. It's worth 100, uh... It has no weight. Worth 100 caps. That's not bad. Okay, as far as carry weight goes, I need to make some weight here. Just gonna drop these, I guess. The gas masks, the rough ones, they're actually, so they're actually worth, the countups are worth as much as a rough gas mask in terms of uh, value per weight. They're not really worth as much, but for the value per weight, they, they are, it's not bad. Okay, so guys, I swear, yeah, these 100%, these are respawning. Some of the loot in these are respawning. I... I guarantee it. Because I didn't miss that before. I definitely didn't. Okay, anyway. Got enough carry weight for my fusion core, so we're going to grab the fusion core and then make our way towards uh, downtown, I think, and then try to get some food and some booze and rest up a bit. Give our poor survivor a much-needed break to get some sanity and some health and some other stuff back. And then uh, maybe do some stuff down the tunnels where we can easily kill some fairly uh, easy-to-take-down enemies over there. Hopefully not die in there. Get some cash there, huh? I mean, I'll take it. No problem, I'll take it. Just gotta get some levels, man. That's what we mainly gotta do. Just get some levels. Gonna check back through here. For any uh, Nuka-Cola or anything. Oh yeah, I gotta get the, uh, the Fusion Core too. I can't forget that. I'm really bad about that. I realize that, that I just, like, I'm, I have an objective. Here's my objective. Actually, let's go over here and look at this. What's over here? Let's go over here, too. I can't help it, guys. It's a character flaw, you know? And I am stuck. Now let me check in this thing, see what we got in here. Got any, uh, first aid kit? No. Got a lantern. 
which will be too heavy. And a crappy gun that I don't really want. Can you get up here? Anything here? Uh, no. Yeah, there should be some IEDs over here that I could grab. Uh, but you know... Did you murder everybody over here on the drug den, Mr. Protectron? No complaints if you did. It's not immediately clear why he murdered them and he doesn't want to murder me, but... You know, it's fine. That's some good junk. I'll take it. Okay. Cut the shit. Who is that? Nothing there now. Any Nuka Cola? Nope. This guy that's yelling is up on top over here, I'm pretty sure. We're just going to go in here real quick and kill some people, get some loot. Then further northeast should be the, uh, the whatchamacallit, um, sorry, I can't think properly right now. There is a kid in here I don't want to kill. Man, please don't be ferals again. You are so <laughs> Unless I already killed them. Which is possible. This is actually pretty good. Only weighs 2.6. We actually gained some uh, carry weight with that. It's not bad. I definitely can't carry that type raider. It's going to be too heavy. Sturdy combat armor chest piece. Also not bad. Way too heavy though. That's why that guy was so tanky. Oh no, that was the kid for sure, I think. Yeah, <laughs> this was the kid. Whoops. I couldn't see, man. I knew they were in here too. I just, I mean, you know. Sorry, kid. Wrong place, wrong time. What can I say? Don't have druggies for parents, I guess. Oh, this crap's way too heavy. Alright, typewriter, you gotta go. And a camera. And that too. Need bottles as well pretty badly, so I'll definitely take those. These are all just... Okay. Oh! These are all wood. You know what? That's pretty useful, actually. I am gonna. I know it's kind of crazy, but, like, wood's kind of hard to come by later on. Um, like, you need a lot of it. And that's pretty helpful that those are all... Those are all uh, wood. I mean, they would burn. That does make sense. They would burn just fine, so... Um... Yeah, that actually is... I like that. So those have a use now, which is they're just wood. They only weigh 0.1 each, which is not bad. It's as much as wood weighs. So yeah, I just use them to... Uh, use them to... Um, make your food and stuff. Sorry, my brain's not functioning. I've already recorded like three episodes today, and my brain's just not functioning very well on episode number four. Okay, and that should be everything, yeah? Hello, Mr. Protectron. You have a good day, sir. 
Uh, right, so the fusion core is down this way a bit more. I think around the back over here, besides the mines over there. I thought there might be some some booze or something back here on the back patio. Dead guy over here. Huh, random survivor. Nothing on him. And a dog. Huh, the dog must have killed him. Then he died too? I don't know. Okay. Not the point. Let's get going. This I'm pretty sure it's over this way more. I think it literally is right across from the via DTFL. Actually gotten it when I was over there. Now I'm walking back and forth too much. Oh well, it'll be okay. There is a cooking workbench over here. I'm not sure if it'll give me if it'll let me use it, number one. I'm not sure if it'll actually give me the settlement number two. I definitely don't want to have the settlement. Right over here. Right over here is the, uh, the place. And I'll be in pretty decent shape. I should probably eat some food, too, if I have any that I can eat right away. I really don't, so... Could have some Nuka-Cola and stuff, I guess. Though if I have too much... Because I am... Uh, I'm famished right now. If I have too much, then I'm going to get to the point where I am burning through my health because I, ha I have so low... Uh... Oh yeah, it's back behind here where the dog was. Because I have so low... Uh hunger or whatever. I have so high hunger, I'll start actually dying from from my hunger. That would not be good. Would not be good at all. So yeah, let's grab this real quick and then be on our way. Don't think there's anything else over here, but I'm just being thorough. Just checking. It is a single ghoul over here that will pop up when we get this. No big deal there, though. I don't even have to kill him, to be honest. Or maybe not. Maybe he spawned and went after somebody else. Or maybe just bugged out. Not really sure. Okay, we are full as full can get. Let's go back. Calmly walk over. I had a question about uh, why I walk everywhere in the power armor, by the way. And that's very, very simple. Um, you burn a lot less fusion core when you're walking versus running. Like, your 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 fusion core usage overall is less if you're not running. Because anything that uses AP burns your fusion core dramatically faster. Way, way faster. I should check to see if I can use this, uh... There's a cooking workbench over here, right? Wasn't there? I could have sworn there was. Is it, like, inside over here? Maybe there's not. Doesn't matter that much, I can just take everything down to, uh, downtown. Do my cooking over there. I guess there's not. Thought there was. I can't carry any of this stuff right now, so... Just thought I could, like, uh, get some water from the water fountain. And then, uh... Already got that ammo there. Get some water from the water fountain and then... You know, we could, uh, 
maybe just boil it down and get some carry weight back, but that's okay. It's all right. Let's go home. Let's go to downtown. Need more beer. Is there some beer over here? There is a, ra a random revolver over here. Yep, I know. We're getting low on core. That's totally fine. Oh, hey, it's a uh, armor workbench over here. Anything else over here? Water filter. I'll take that for sure. Hey, buddy, you got any beers for me? You actually do. Why, thank you. That sounded like footsteps. Gotta drop something. Stun grenades actually wouldn't be that bad to use. You can stun them and just go up and melee them to death, I guess. Pretty, pretty decent. Sort by weight. Oh, I don't need ball peen hammers. Get out of here. I mean, they have wood in them, which is kind of nice, but I have enough wood from all those comics I got. You know, I guess uh, if you need wood, place to go then would be um, the comic shop, you know, Hubris Comics. That'd be very good. Okay, I think we're clear. It's been a pretty good start, guys. I mean, I think I lucked out. I'm not always this lucky on my initial start when I'm, you know, starting a new playthrough. It doesn't always happen this way, you know? Let me check the ghoul over here. There might be some food over here in the mean pastries, too. I should just go in there. Maybe some uh, sweet rolls or something. Get a dollar on him. You are... Relatively high level compared to me, I guess. This is not the right graveyard for that. Let's check over here real quick, see if there's anything up here. That's a big no. I bet there will be some... I'm not sure if you can get anything in here or not. I mean, you'd think it'd be like, like at least a sweet roll you could get in here somewhere. Kill the cat for the kill. Oh, hi. Percy Williams was in here. Powerful pipe rifle. Is that any good? Eh, it's okay. I could kill the cat for food. What the hell? That cat just zoomed over here. That was kind of weird. Moldy food, not particularly useful. Come on, preserved pie. Oh, never, never lucky. Never, ever lucky. Just give me some more booze. Dehydrate me even more. There's a sweet raw I was talking about. You can't get to it, so... Not that useful... bunch of aluminum here. There really isn't much here at all, actually. Give me that sweet roll. Snack cakes. Lock's really strong. Can't do that one yet. Okay. That's all there be. I guess if I really wanted to get a bunch of food early on, I could go to, uh... What's the place? Um... Mass State House. And then I could get a bunch of eggs, and then get dirty water. Make a lot of omelets. That'd be a possibility. Okay, so there's Old North Church right over there is Valenti Station. I see it on the map.
What is over here? Is this the top of Old North Church or somewhere else? It is a roof access area. Huh, there's a little uh, patio over there. Oh, there's the uh, the pizza place. This is okay. So this is what um, Zawano took this in in Horizon. Zawano took this like entire building basically, and uh, was able to like make a building you can use in in uh, Horizon with that part of the architect program. It's really cool. Did a whole bunch of that stuff actually to make some lore friendly. Um, sort of lived in very easy to place down areas where you can just sort of have your settlers live and stuff. Pretty cool. I like it. Oh, this is where I was talking about earlier, guys. This is the, um, this is the kind of out-of-the-way spot where you can find, uh, like, it's a really, oh, hello. Bunch of survivors, huh? Wonder if I could land a grenade over there. It's a long throw. Probably have better luck tossing it from down there, although they'll be aggroed from down there. I bet it'll explode before I actually hit them. Give it a shot. God damn, that was a good throw. <laughs> Nice job, Wanderer. Nice job, buddy. Alright, let's hope they don't despawn when I go in here and check out this apartment real quick. That was a good one. Okay, bottles. Nuka Cola. Maybe a water filter. That's it. Oh my god, there actually was one. I don't have room for everything. Sorry guys, I know you get tired of me doing the, the whole inventory management stuff, but... Um, fuck, still wasn't enough. It is what it is. Oh, I need more booze, that's why. There we go. Vodka makes you strong. Overdue books. A whole bunch of overdue books. I kind of want all of these, actually. Because you can get a really easy fusion course from overdue books. Though we're, you know... Yeah, here's the auxiliary tape I was talking about. Recording surveillance tape number eight. Ladies Watch Auxiliary of Boston. This is Becca Linkowski. We're doing a watch in the North End tonight at my mother-in-law's place. Let's see, lately they've... Uh... Gemma, what was in the news here last week? No, 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 not that. I mean, didn't somebody get mugged or something up the way? For Christ's sake, Gemma! What about those kids they caught drinking in the Revere house? Anything like that? Oh, brother, wait up, Gemma! Pretty cool little, uh, hollow tape there. Pretty neat. Okay, let's go outside. I'm just gonna, like, drop the books over the side or something so I can get them later. I gotta loot these guys over here, too. Maybe I'll just hack off a leg or something and take it with me over to L Plenty Station. Might be alright. Let me see here. Drop that. Would have been hilarious if that had, like, exploded and killed me. Did one of the bodies go flying somewhere? 
What's this note say? I've got the hunting rifle, Billy. Just gotta figure out how we're gonna sell it. It's at the Boston Police Rationing Site. Okay. It's one of those random quests you get. You had a... Okay, radium rifle and a lot of ammo for it. Glad I killed you before you could use all that. It's scoped too. This is not bad, though it's gonna be... Well, it's awful for ghouls, but who cares because, right? Like, I don't really care about... I don't care too much about... How effective it is versus ghouls. I wonder if this person flew off into the water or if they despawned. I guess it doesn't matter too much either way because I really can't get them. This is going to be way too heavy. That'll do. That'll do. And my Maynuke. Okay, this is fine for short-term carrying. It will despawn, though, like almost guaranteed if I get... Uh, if I get too far away from that body. So it's okay for the short-term carrying of this thing, but would not work if I was going a longer distance. Oh, a bit of... Uh, Bit of a hitch there. Yes, and there's a survivor over there. We're not going to go that close, though. We're just going to go over here. And Valenti is just around the corner here. Oh, son of a bitch. Told you guys it'd despawn. Might I lose a main nuke and a uh, radium rifle? Yep. Well, I guess I can go back and get off that corpse still, right? Like, I can just get the corpse, but... Whatever. The corpse is going to probably despawn too, though, eventually. Whatever, man. It's not a huge loss. Well, the main nuke is kind of a big loss. Actually, it's 100 caps. I mean, I wouldn't get 100 out of it. I might get, like, 150 out of it. You're mine now, rookie! <gasps> Who's there? Ha <laughs> ha! Kick ass! What the fuck was that? Keep moving! Are you a fed? No, you're alliance. You're alliance. Motherfucker! Mother what? Some more flamer fuel, another napalmer for me. Thank you very much. Just gonna take it all and shove in this guy for now. I'll carry it all over later on. Who's got the key? Damn it, vodka. There we go. That's not the right key either. Automatic laser rifle. I mean, it's not bad for a starter laser rifle, I guess. I can modify it later. Hello, comrade. You have a... let's see... I'm just gonna kill you both right now. Sorry. Dump that into here. You both got... you got a laser rifle and a hunting rifle. Alright. Line them up. There we go. Got the key. Not a bad laser rifle. A machete that I can make into hopefully a nice machete. Dump this on you. <coughs> Just about out of core. Should probably, um... 
save this core and sell it. I mean, there's no reason not to, right? So I will get that out of there before I actually lose it in a second here. Since we're so close by, I'm just going to take everything. No real reason not to, you know? Part of the reason I kill those guys, by the way, is because if you don't, they're going to uh, get mad whenever you steal stuff over here, and I want to steal everything to sell it later, so... Plus, you know... Loot, right? Lots and lots of glorious loot. Do you have a wedding ring on you too? Why am I getting wedding rings all of a sudden? It's kind of weird. Oh no, I just put my wedding ring on, on him for whatever reason, on accident. Okay, it should be everything. Well, these guys too. actually drop off stuff over here real quick before my fusion cord runs out because I'm real close to it going bad. <clears throat> Just a tiny bit left in it. Okay, yeah, it's at zero. Literally at zero. Okay. Cool, so I can sell that. Got a lot of flamer fuel. That's a really nice boon there. That will be very useful. Dump all this into here for now. A couple water filters for some purified water. I got four overdue books as well, so one more and I can go and get that fusion court Revere Beach, though. Uh, the real issue going over there is that there are a bunch of scary survivors I'll need to take out. Okay, got plenty of carry weight. I still have not gotten the, um... The mod that I need. Working. Oh, there's more stuff over here. The combat helmer, combat helmet, armor, mod. God, I really messed that one up. Um, that gives you light whenever you activate, which uh, was it's not working. But I think I had to place it like lower in the, lo the load order, or maybe it needs updated. I don't know, or maybe it's just not compatible. Not really sure. But that's an essential mod, man. Combat helmet has light on it. No reason why it shouldn't work. If you disagree with me, I will fight you. Okay. I'll put this fusion core into here. And not be able to see anything as I go through here. I guess there is a key over here you can use instead of killing that guy, but it's fine. Get a save in here. And we're home. I'm gonna cook up some stuff, make some water, and uh, take care of all those bodily needs and stuff, you know? So yeah, let's see here. Purified water, we can do that. Can make some fungal moonshine, which is really good, actually. Oh, so vodka... Okay, I should keep that around, because th that's really good. Fungal moonshine's really good stuff. Make some cram. 
make some mutt chops. And that's going to be everything we can do right now. Don't have parasites or anything, do I? Nah, we're just super, super tired and dehydrated and stuff. Okay. Fair enough. Better, but still hungry. That's not terrible. Can have those. Get my bottles out here. And make a bunch of water. Might have some more bottles up at, um... Uh, Bunker Hill. I don't remember if I so got them all. Far, so good. Level up. Very nice. Alright, let's see here. Interesting. This, this one is, um... Uh, that is interesting. This the sound of mind one is, you deal fifteen percent more damage if you're above ninety sanity. Uh, if you drop below that, you deal minus fifteen percent. Only can be taken if you're below level eleven. So you have to decide early on if you want to try to keep your sanity high or not. That's interesting. This one's kind of the opposite. Well, not the opposite, but fifty percent run speed out of combat as long as you're insane. That's actually really good. But again, we're power armor builds. So we're not going to use that. Uh, let me see. Don't want to do some hacking. I can't really do hacking until later on. To get the power armor down below. Um, this is not really that big of a deal. I mean, I could do this and then just do punching attacks and power armor. It's actually pretty good. Take a look at this. Um, later on, for sure, I will. I wonder if the uh, criticals paralyzing your opponents on that is works for like death claws and stuff. Like if, if I could just like punch a death claw and paralyze him for a bit, that'd be kind of cool. All right, so duck and cover um, is a strong contender for the first one I'd take here. Level ten, I can take second rank. Life giver is always good too. Don't care about those too much. Have a lot of good stuff here as well. Nuclear physicist probably is what I'll take, to be honest, though. Like, that's... I wanted to take that a lot earlier, but I couldn't. You can salvage uncommon components like screws, aluminum, and copper when scrapping weapons and armor. I probably should take this fairly early on, too. Or I should just save everything and scrap it later. And not scrap it right now. That... this would be pretty good. Um, this one allows you to make... Let me see here. So your chems will last 200% longer. It's really good. I think it allows you to make, um, some stuff too. Alright, what's an agility? Commando and sneak and gunslinger. These are all, like, good. I'll get them all eventually, but... They're not priority. Next level is going to be, um... Idiot Savant, right? Oh, it just want to is rank is uh, level eleven. Okay, never mind. I guess that'll be a while till I get that. Scrounger is also very good. So like Scrounger and Fortune Finder will be like next two perks probably. But for now, I think I do want to go with Nuclear Physicist because I got that you know because I want my fusion course to last a lot longer. Fifty percent more at fourteen, and then. Uh, twice as long here. I'm probably gonna get a mod that disables the ejection from power armor, because, like, I always have an accident. It's really annoying. Okay, um... We're good. Let me get some... Well, what time is it? Uh, it's like 5 p.m. in-game here. It's not my time, is it? No, that's, uh... That's in-game time. So... A little bit early still. I'll probably do some bartering and stuff. Might buy some food and things here. Um, do I have any money? I've got some. How's my charisma? Have some negative charisma because we're hungry and stuff. So 
Still peckish, huh? What's my special now? I'm at two. I have minus one. What's my minus one from? Let me check again here. Oh no, we're, we're just at we're just at one. Okay, we're at our standard now. So I should do some uh, do something that gives me charisma, as far as booze goes. Might not have anything actually. It does that so. This will do. I can do some day tripper. It's minus two sandy though. Might be worth it though. Might actually be worth it. I can sell some stuff and not be totally screwed on the prices, you know. So what I want to sell here? Cigarettes probably. Let's go with by uh, value per weight here. Let's see. Cigarettes. Cigarette carton. Should sort by... Not that. No, not that either. Get out of there. This isn't anything like training. Shooting at plywood. How I want to look at... Where'd my mini-nukes go? Didn't I have one? No, I lost it. That's right. Uh, I want to look at gold stuff. Gold-plated stuff if I have any. I don't have any, though. Okay, rip. No, no gold-plated stuff I can sell. Probably that's all I want to sell as far as junk goes. Take the money, I can obviously sell that. The Quantum sells for quite a bit. I don't know if it's really worth uh, using that. The Moonshot I can definitely sell. The Canned Dog Food I can sell. Gumdrops don't give sand. You don't care about those. Blood Packs sell for a lot, but you can use those for crafting later on. They're pretty good. A bunch of this stuff I can just sell. I need my beanie. I need, uh... I don't think I have anything that gives me charisma. As far as, uh... A chest piece, but I'll take the beanie. Where'd my fashionable sunglasses? I did, did I forget my sunglasses? No, I have them. Yeah, uh... Glasses. I sell the black-rimmed ones. So get plus two from that, plus five from the other thing. Let's just, uh, wedding ring we can sell. Get some of this heavy stuff, too. Gas masks will go pretty well. That should do. Alright, Siampa. What you got for me? See you, my friend. So, did you find anything out? Listen. Yes. I question every soldier in the like didn't find that needs a drink. You're not going to find it. I've got a few minutes to browse. Great. All right. I want like all this stuff. So I'm gonna let's see here. We're gonna do some stuff. Yeah, survive that. Where's the? Um, oh, it's upstairs. That's right. Yeah. No, it's right here. Gotta make sure. Gotta turn that radio off. All right. So let's see. Um, and that is Nick Valentine, by the way, obviously. I, uh, we met him in the previous episodes. I want some Day Tripper. Severely dehydrated. And we want some... There we go. Now I shouldn't die from just being dehydrated anymore, hopefully. I want to put on my, uh, my stuff here, my... Fashionable glasses and my stunning beanie. And now we are at charisma of eight. If you insist yeah. on going through with this, fantastic. Go find some real hey there. What can I get? Sure you're remembering that right? Let's see you what you got. Here. Well, I got I got some illness, but you know it could be worse. Lethargy's not that bad. All right, so we're gonna buy like everything. I think. Everything I possibly can, pretty much. This is almost free. That's nice. And then let's sell a whole bunch of stuff here. Black rim, glasses, all this stuff we can sell. I 
I don't need that many bandages. I can sell some. Buff out. Don't need that many of them. I can sell some of those. I won't need that many jet either. Both of those can go. Um, what else? Oh yeah, this. Just sell all these. Then I'll be actually uh, in the positive again, which is good. I'm going to sell this stuff first, though. Okay, so then the money. So I need like 200 worth or so. That will do. Waste of time. You've wasted enough of my time. Hey. Uh, hi there. Have we met? I'm new to the area. The beer tastes like warm spit. You'd be hard pressed to find a friendlier place for a drink. Let's see about this. Okay. He's telling us that there is a bounty out for Eddie Winter. You seeing what I'm seeing over here? I sure am, Nick. How did this package go missing? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime. Eddie Winter. He was a bad man. He did a lot of bad things. Hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming. So he sealed himself inside a personal shelter. Located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. An evil king in a sub shop? Does a meatball monster show up at some point? Yeah, from what I've heard, the pastrami golem is the one you really have to watch out for. Anyway, if you're done being a wise ass, the story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. You don't mean to tell me he used that radiation to... That's right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a kind of monster. And I'm convinced that he's still inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to rain all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happens. You in? I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. No, I've got memories. The, the girl. My girl. But the girl. She was real. She was beautiful. And innocent. And Winter killed her. Now he's got to pay the price. So, knowing that, you in? All right, Nick. Just tell me where to go. You're a good man. Now, I don't know exactly where Winter's vault is. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knows no bounds. Wonder how long that jackass has been out there. Careful. Andrew Station's known for having its fill of gun-toting scumbags. Yeah, can't wait to get up there. Easy, honey. Yeah, you're right. Finally time for Eddie Winter to get his due. Okay, so there's the other Win Eddie Winter introduction there. And, um... Yeah? Yeah. We're in downtown, we got some food and stuff. I want to see what's in this, um... An open lunchbox and stuff we've got. I'll also try and check over here and see what uh, Ozzy's got for us. It's always junk at the start, but hey who there. knows? Looking for a weapon? Maybe I've it'll be good this time. Browse. Here's what I've got. Let's take a look here. Oh, why, Ozzy? You sly dog, you. It's got a uh, nice sniper barrel on it, which is what makes it so much damage. It's pretty good. It's only 223. I can probably swing that, to be honest. 
come back in here and sell some more stuff to him later on. I kind of want that. Got some 45 round. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Didn't have a price on it for a second there. Yeah, fusion cells are expensive. 45 rounds are really good too. But uh, just, I mean, 26 shots for a thousand caps, just way too much. Okay, I'll do that for now. Be back in a second with more stuff to hawk over here. You look very dapper, sir. <clears throat> hey. What? How are you doing? Fine. Okay. Nothing else for now. Right, so there's a bunch of uh, burnt books and stuff in here that I can get. Let's see, just in case any of this is stealing. I don't want to be sitting here forever looking at it. I don't think any of it is. I don't think they really care. Pretty sure this stuff is literally just here to be sold. Oh man, there's a whole bunch. That was uh, useful. Whole bunch of good stuff there. Alright, put this in there for now. Do I even have any fusion cells? I have seven. I mean, it's seven shots with that thing. Seven kills. Alright, so let me grab the rest of these out of here. Don't need these. I want to sell literally everything I can while I have the drugs going. That I don't want, you know? That's probably it, unless I want to sell some ammo. I could sell some ammo, like a little bit of 44 rounds. Don't really need those. Don't have the key. Hi, how are you? Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure I've got something you need. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Any of this stuff I want to sell. I'll probably make more bandages if I need them. Not a big deal. Um. I think that's probably all. Okay. We need our money back at least for the most part. Didn't have a fungal purge I could sell in here, did I? I don't think I took that with me. Nah, it's gone. Okay, that's fine. I'll keep the vodka and whiskey in here and not... I don't want to use that right away, just in case we need it for uh, crafting stuff later on. Can make some... Well, hold on. Let me check what's in these, I guess. So we got some Instamash, two of them, and some boiled water and dirty water. Lunchbox... Rabbit leg, cooked deviled eggs, Salisbury steak. That's not bad. Two boiled water. It's not bad at all, really. Alright, so we are hungry. I'll get rid of the hunger, but the thirst I'm going to leave on there for now. Properly fed. Good to go. Keep the booze on me for now, but I want to drink. Okay. That should be good. Alright guys, well I think we're going to wrap Welcome the episode back. up here. Nice to see the um, hasn't gotten you yet. It's pretty late, so I'll probably get some sleep. And then the next one, I'll be going through the tunnels and stuff probably. And uh, taking out some survivors and some... Uh, <laughs> There she is again, <laughs> taking out some survivors and ghouls down there for experience. Uh, we do have that nice flamer with a lot of ammo for it, so it should be pretty easy. I could even go to the library if I wanted to. I could probably make my way all the way to the make, make, sorry, make my way all the way to the library if I wanted to. But anyways, I'll be next time, guys. So thanks for watching, and I will see you then.